Are you are you surpassing expectations? Oh, I think we are. Um, I'm delighted for Lee. Congratulations, Lee. Uh, but of course, if you just looked at those first few results that came through, you know, 29%, 27%, 26%, 26%, uh, 2nd to Labour in safe Labour seats, uh, I think we will outperform uh, the predictions and the expectations, uh, and it'll be a good night for reform. I mean, it's an interesting one, though, when you look at... Um, I mean, some say, I mean, Barnsley is, is a key one, isn't it? Which you were really, really hoping to win that one, and yet you haven't. Is it, I mean, do you think this 13-seat this prediction in the exit poll is actually going to hold up? Oh, I, I think it will hold up. I think it may, may even be surpassed. We're still at a fairly early stage, and there's an awful lot of results still to come. Uh, so um, I'm hopeful, certainly, but, you know, we've got... Uh, at least one seat now in Parliament. I, I mean, I know Lee was already there, uh, but he's now returned as a reform uh, MP. That's tremendous. We'll be seeing more. And what are your reflections on the uh, devastation facing the Conservative Party tonight? According to the exit poll, reduced to 131 seats. I mean, obviously, you were once a prominent Tory politician, having switched side now to reform. But what do you make of the Conservative Party now and what should they do to regroup, Anne? Well, I'm afraid they thoroughly deserve what's happened to them. Um, I will be very sad tomorrow morning looking through the results because you know, a lot of them are still my friends. Uh, but nevertheless, I haven't any regrets because what had to happen was that they had to be demolished. Uh, in order to get their act together. I've never seen such a chaotic government uh, sustained over such a period of time. All governments go through periods of chaos, uh, but this was prolonged. It just didn't stop. Uh, and I think the Tory party have got to realise that it's no good just looking at themselves and infighting and defenestrating prime ministers and briefing the press and all the rest of it. What they've actually got to do is to blare out a message, which is what reform has done, that the electorate will respect. What are you going to say to people who look at... I mean, it doesn't apply to all of the results, but it applies to some who say, yeah, in fact, Rishi Sunak was right, you voted reform, you get Labour. Well, actually, in most of the results, that is not the case. So if you add the reform and the Conservative vote together, in most of the cases, uh, it, it just misses overtaking Labour. Um, and, you know, we would just turn it round and we would say, well, you know, on that basis, given where we were in the polls and, and where the Conservatives were in the polls, you might just as well say, you know, vote Tory, get Labour. It's, it's, it's a rather silly argument.